Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce and welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. It has been almost three months since the launch of the ISOM number one campaign and it has been about a month after that. So about two months now that we started hearing about the shenanigans that PayPal was playing with Eric July. My timeline could be a little off, could have been a couple weeks, could have been either way. But Eric came out and told him, well, PayPal wasn't going to give him his money. That, you know, he earned by selling his product to us. And so Eric said he was going to go through all the hoops to make sure that the money that we paid to him is no longer held by PayPal. They are still holding all that money. Let's go over to Twitter real quick. Eric July, this was four hours ago, just for transparency's sake. I know thousands of you that paid with PayPal before we shut it off have received your orders. We still do not have access to those funds, despite saying the release would be 61 days after July 28th. We've still in the reserve. And he came down here. We went through the route of giving them the opportunity to resolve this issue without getting, a, without getting aggressive on the legal front. So let's take it there. And he says they're still in reserve. So they're still in reserve. So autocorrect for the win. Gotta love autocorrect for the win. It makes the most intelligible people on Twitter sound not intelligible. So fuck you, autocorrect. This is something that has just pissed me off since the beginning. So I was a PayPal customer. Why was I a PayPal customer? Why does it make sense for my family? Well, PayPal has a pay in for option. And when you've got bills and a bunch of other stuff and kids and things like that, it's like, yeah, I could drop all the money today, but it would probably be a safer bet if I was able to pay it in four payments over the course of like a month, right? And that's why we did that option for our family. Had we known this was going to be something that they were going to do, our first order from Eric never would have been from PayPal, okay? This company has come out and through using an after the fact, no way they could possibly enforce it all the time, you know, term of service, have come after Eric July, most likely because he politically disagrees with them, and decided that they are going to hold over $1.3 million of the money that we paid to him. We are almost three months later. Now, we're shy of the 61 days for July 8th, which that's just a total nothing burger. Why is it July 8th? Why was that arbitrary date given out? Why was it almost two weeks after? Actually, it was beyond two weeks. I believe it was Monday, July 11th when he went live. So why was it two and a half weeks later? Almost, yeah, yeah. Two and a half weeks later that they decided to give him this arbitrary date. Now, he is sending out orders. I, my order hasn't updated yet. He hasn't shipped my order yet. That's fine. I'm cool with waiting. What I would be even more cool with is the money that I fucking paid to go to the guy that I fucking paid it to. And then on top of that, the other thing that irritates the hell out of me, right, is he's he doesn't have access to a third of that money. And we go over to eBay. And look at this. New listing. Isom number one by Eric D. July. Bundle covers A and B. Rip averse. $1,100 with 10 watchers. Okay, item number one, rip reverse, cover B, rare, limited, oh, rare and limited, $525. The unsigned copy of cover A with 12 bids on it for $104, $750 for covers A and B, $350 here with 18 watchers. I mean, 51, that's a little better, cover B unsigned, but with two bids on it. $107. So Eric July is not entitled to the money that we sent to him, but off the back of his hard work, we got scalpers out on eBay that are willing to put all this stuff up for exorbitant amounts of money. All because of the corporate gamesmanship that's been going on. You see, this is something that I was hoping would get resolved. And you just don't use pay. You, you just try not to use PayPal anymore. We still have to use it for certain stuff in our family. Because again, that pay in for, it, it's a big thing. 
What we don't do is we don't use it for things that we think are important, like buying more stuff from Eric July or buying things from like Clownfish TV. All of these options are there for people to make it easier for them to buy. And guess what? Now we find out it makes it harder for your money to actually go to the people that you want it to go to. And then off of the backs of those people who are being honest with their business, you get scalpers out there on eBay that decide, well, screw it. I'm going to make my money. And it's okay for those people to do that, even though, I mean, PayPal should see this and say, look, people are taking the book that I am sending out and selling it. This is a major, major point. If he wasn't being honest and originally it was, oh, we need proof that you're sending it to people. Well, here's the proof. Here's the proof it's going out. Why isn't that money getting released? Then it was, oh no, we're going to slow roll it out to you. So to be perfectly honest, and I'm not usually one to say this, but I hope that Eric July gets his lawyers involved. And I hope at this point that the man is able to take them for not only the $1.3 million, but every bit of interest that they have made off of the off of his money because it's not mine once it left my hands I, it became eric's i would like to say oh they're holding on to my money no they're not i let it go i put that money over in the second that it left my hands and i did say my money in a, a previous video once it left my hands though it was no longer mine and now they are stealing from a guy who's trying to build an honest business who honestly is giving hundreds of channels on youtube things to talk about and help building their channel help building their audience my when i did my first rip reverse video i had 96 subscribers i have 963 now in just three months and that is thanks to the inspiration that eric has given me and that is thanks to making sure that when he puts his stuff up on twitter be great i'm like oh he's right i gotta be great today fuck it's hard to be great all the time, but you know what? Sometimes you just got to do it. Last night, I was not great. Last night, I had to bitch out because I was just like, man, I'm too tired. I got to go to bed. I got to get up early in the morning. It sucks. But you know what? This man is inspiring hundreds of thousands of people, whether he's just inspiring them to get back into comic books, inspiring them to be into it, the escapism that the world can offer, inspiring other people to create culture or inspiring schlubs like me to do a YouTube channel because honestly, this is a way for me to talk about all the things that I care about in this world and share it with now hundreds of people, hopefully soon to be a thousand people. I don't know. But this is what these corpos want to do. They want to take your money, hold it, Make sure that they make the interest off of it. And then while they're hoping that you're living in squalor and they're making money off, they'll slow roll you the money that you fucking deserve. These are what these massive corporations are trying to do. They're trying to make sure that the competition in the market is completely squashed out. And hopefully there will be a replacement in this uh, parallel economy that we're trying to build. I am also trying to be a part of it as much as I can with the little bit that I can do. But in this parallel economy, we need to have something else. A lot of people say, oh, well, parallel economy. They're not international. They don't have the presence across the world. Where is the option for the international customers that use PayPal? Where is it? Why don't we have it yet? What's going on? Why did it take so long for people to go, hmm, maybe these corporations are screwing people over. Maybe we should make our own stuff. Why did it take so long? And honestly, you guys, if you don't have your orders yet, you need to find a way to email PayPal and say, why is my money not going to this man yet? It's time to start sending emails out and it's time to get on it. This is something that is completely ridiculous and totally unethical from a business standpoint. So thank you all so much for checking out the channel. I appreciate you all being here. And hopefully you guys liked my little rant here, but this one kind of pissed me off a little bit. And you got to get it out once in a while, right? I do my best to be as positive on this channel as I can be, but you can't be positive all the time. That would mean you're not human. That would mean you're fake. You know, some days I'm tired and I'm like, hey guys, what's going on? It's drinking crazy, you know? And sometimes I'm like, hey, what's going on? And that makes me human. And hopefully you guys like the little bit of human presence that I'm bringing here to YouTube. So thank you guys so much for all of the overwhelming support that you have given this 
well, what once was a tiny channel. I mean, it's still tiny in comparison to others, but it is massive compared to what it was three months ago. So thank you to all of you out there. If you guys like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. If you guys really like what I'm doing, hit the like button. Ring the notification bell and make sure that YouTube notifies you. But most importantly of all, comment down below and talk with me. I do my best to respond to every comment down there. I One day, it might get to a point where I can't do that. And to be honest, that may be a good problem to have, but that's not a problem that I really want to have because I love the interaction that I have in my comments sections. So at least for now, comment down below and I will get to you guys as soon as I can. And until next time. Oh, and by the way, today's beer is Bush Light because, you know, we can't drink fancy beers all the time. But until next time, I look forward to seeing you right here on I Drink With Crazy. Cheers, everybody.